Let's talk about vitamin D in skin type. And when I'm talking about type, I'm talking about the pigment in your skin. The pigment is generated by melanin. And melanin, the pigment, has an interesting function of acting as a filter for UV light. So it actually prevents UV light. And it also prevents the harmful rays that can cause cancer. So the more melanin you have in your skin, the more protected you are from skin cancer. Now, the largest organ in the body is the skin. It has about 22 square feet, okay? It's about eight pounds. So it's actually quite large. When we get into the types of skin, you have type one and two, you have type three, and you have type four, five, and six. So in this type, you have people that have like a fair complexion. People that are redheads, Russians, Scandinavians, and people that live in high latitude, which means further away from the equator. And then type three, you have the middle latitude, which is slightly lower. We have Americans and Central Europeans, okay? Then you have type four, five, and six, which is the subtropical or the tropical. They're closer to the equator, and so they're going to have more sun exposure. And this group in includes Asians, Indians, Latino Americans, African Americans, Africans. And so the darker the skin, the more melanin, the more natural sunscreen they have, the less UVs that are going to penetrate the skin. But here's the catch-22. People in this group that have a less risk of getting skin cancer also have a greater risk of being vitamin D deficient. So they would need between three to five times more vitamin D than this group. So even though this group can absorb more vitamin D, they have a higher risk of getting skin cancer. And so the darker the skin, the more vitamin D you need to consume or be exposed to from sun. Normally the sun gives you UV radiation, which hits the skin. And depending on how much pigment you have will determine how much pre-vitamin D you're going to get, which is made from cholesterol. This inactive pre-vitamin D needs to be activated through the kidneys or the liver. But also realize that if there is damage to your liver, whether you have a fatty liver, it's inflamed, or you have cirrhosis, or you have kidney damage because you're diabetic, it never gets converted. So when you get tested and it shows normal, that doesn't actually tell you the active form because most tests check the inactive vitamin D, not the active version. Because if you have a fatty liver or you have some type of a problem with your kidney and you keep checking your vitamin D and it's normal, chances are you, it might not be normal. So there's a big association between liver damage or kidney damage and low vitamin D levels. Now there's a really cool test that I recommend. It's a home kit that you can get to measure your vitamin D levels. It's not that expensive. I recently called a company and I asked them if they would give my followers a discount. And I don't get any kickbacks. I get no percentage of this. So what they agreed to do is to give all my followers 20% off this test if you're interested. So you would just type in this coupon code, Dr. Berg 20, and I put the link down below. They'll send you a kit. You take a drop of blood, you put it in this little piece of paper, send it in, and they'll give you your results. They also have some other additional testing like omega-3 fatty acid testing. They can check your DHA. And I think just a few more tests. So you'll see it on their website. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.